Welcome to another Otakusen video. So for this video, we are going to be talking about how we need to preserve anime. Anime is one of the last things in the universe, in the world, that gets to keep the essence of storytelling creativity. When you look at American culture, right? If you look at US TV shows, if you look at many, many other Western TV shows, cartoons, you kind of get the same old, same old. But if you look at anime, anime is not American culture, but it's become part of American culture. It's Japanese culture. And the, the importance of that is the fact that American politics, the American you know, bull crap that comes with watching a Marvel TV show like She-Hulk, He-Man, all this woke stuff that becomes a part of American culture that be gets infected in the TV shows, in the movies. You don't have that in anime. You get a wide range of things that if we were shown this in America and it came from an American studio as an American franchise, it gets infected. It just literally gets infected by the political woke crap. So that's why I love anime because there isn't anyone telling these authors that, hey, you know, you must do this specific story. Now the studios or the creators might tell the authors, hey, you need to finish this up. Hey, you need to move along on the story. They might push them to do something, but at the end of the day, it's still their story, their characters, and their wild imagination being put on display for anime, manga, light novels. It comes through and how amazing the storytelling is. You can't tell me there's, okay, there are American TV shows and movies that are good, but it's it's just the, the wokeness, the politicalness of these TV shows that, that it just ruins the experience. When I watch an anime, I don't have to think about the political stuff. You know, I don't have to think that, hey, they have, they got influenced by this political thing that's going on. I don't have to think about that. When I watch an anime, it just becomes that story and those characters and those unique things that happen within uh, that experience of watching it. And there's a wide range of different stories that you can you can watch now there are you know certain tropes certain you know genres in anime that always comes up you know shonen sanding you know you have your shoujo animes overall as a collective as a way a hub a a platform to tell a story it is the most widest range broadest range of stories that you can tell the fact that it is animated, you can create more better story within the animation. Because live action TV shows, there's only so much you can do. And it becomes more cookie cutter and it becomes more cookie cutter because you have to sell, you have to get as much viewers as possible. It costs millions of dollars to do CGI and do all those other crazy effects. In anime, it's a, it costs a bit less now there are other studios that pour a little bit more money and it actually turns out to be very, very well. Like you photoable, like Demon Slayer. Demon Slayer, the story is okay, but the execution, the beauty, the visuals of watching it, it is an experience, an amazing experience visually watching Demon Slayer. So that's what's make that anime very, very good. Very, very enticing to watch because it looks so damn awesome. And the way they present the story, the way they do the action scenes, it's awesome. And if you try to do Demon Slayer in an American style, in the Western style, it will never reach that level. It's something that we can only experience from Japanese culture. It's something that is a way that, that we're able to experience something that we're not able to because of the Western bull crap of politicalness that infects 
the storytelling that affects the authors, the creators, the writers to write a certain way, to be a certain way, and have to worry about you know being infected by this 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 political system, this woke culture, this cancel culture. You know, I watch things like Bastard. So Dark Schneider is a character that gropes the girl characters in there, and I'm not saying that's the I'm not saying that 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 I condone those actions in real life of groping girls or whatever, right? But the fact that it's done in anime, and it's just that's just part of the story. It's its own thing. No one says that you condone the things that the make-believe characters do. No one's saying that. What I'm saying is basically these characters are allowed to to just be in their own space and tell this kind of story whatever story it is and let the characters just be who they are and be whatever they're trying to portray that is my whole spiel of why we should be protecting anime and anime creators it's the last bastion of hope it's the last bastion of creative storytelling there's not as much strings attached compared to western you know tv shows or cartoons anime we have to protect it. We have to make sure it doesn't ever, ever get canceled. So that is my spiel of anime. So yeah, do me a favor guys, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, comment down below what you guys think about anime. Should we protect all the stories in anime? Do you guys think that we should ever censor anime? Should certain things be canceled? You know, possibly like the lolly stuff. Yeah, I no lolly stuff. Like there's stuff like that. It there's a wide range of even controversial things that anime can do, and it's the essence of being able to creatively make certain characters tell certain stories and be able to have characters that rub you the wrong way. That that makes it great. So yeah. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, let me know what you guys think. Check out my blog at otakusen.com. And I have an anime figure channel. If you guys want to go check that out, I got a bunch of new figures that came in. So I appreciate you guys, and I'll see you guys on the next video.